Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Garda Linux latest version on VirtualBox. First go to Garda Linux official website that is gardalinux.org then download. See we can choose the desktop environments KD Plasma, XFCE, Genome, Cinnamon and other environments. Click on download or download or see here we have the download option. All three are same. Click on any one of them. See these are the minimum requirements. If you scroll down, see here we have different editions, KDE Plasma, Linux, Xeno, Cinnamon Edition, XFCE, Sphere and others, okay. So, the, but the installation process is same for all these editions, okay. So, in this video, I am going to download Cinnamon. As I told you, installation is same for all. Click on this download button, then see here we have three options, direct, source force and torrent okay if you click on direct it will download the iso file see download started see it's a size is 2.3 gigabytes okay i'm cancelling this one because i have downloaded garda cinnamon linux by using torrent link okay so if you want to download by using torrent you have to click on this torrent okay see mine download is already completed if you click on torrent link go to here See, already Garuda Linux down ISO file downloaded, okay. So, in your case, wait until download completes. Once the download is completed, then open VirtualBox. If you want to install VirtualBox on your machine, then there is a link in the video description. In the video description, you can go through it and you can install it, okay. So, search for VirtualBox. Now, click on New or Machine and select New. Both are same to create new virtual machine for the Garuda Linux. Select either of them, then provide the name. I'm giving Garuda Linux VMware. This is a virtual machine. Name. Then select the folder to store this virtual machine files and folders. This is the default location. If you want to change other location, click on other. Then select the path where you have the enough space. Select the folder, then select the downloaded ISO image. So select other, then select the downloaded ISO file. Click on open, then select the type as. See, then here we have to select type as Linux, subtype as Arch Linux, okay, and version as Arch Linux 64 bit. Then go to hardware here. I am giving 4 gigabytes. It is up to you. Number of CPU cores 2. Then hard disk, I am giving 50 gigabytes. All are, see, these hardware and hard disks are based on the availability. Then click on finish. Still, if you want to edit the settings of this virtual machine, select virtual machine name from this list and click on settings. Or right click and select settings. Or select it and machine and select settings. All three options are same. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on start. And in see here, sometimes your mouse will be grayed out or go to this top left corner. So, for that, we have to select pointing device to PST mouse. Then click on OK. Then click on start. Now, use up and down arrows and select the Boot with open source drivers and hit enter. Double click on it to get the full screen. Okay, so if you drag this one, see here on the desktop we have the install Garda Linux icon, or you can use, but if you want to use this for testing purpose, you have to use by closing this one. But if you want to install permanently, you have to click on this install Garda Linux and right click and open. Or just click on this install Garda Linux. Both are set. Click on it. Now select the language from this list. I am going with American English. Then click on next. Select region and zone from this globe or from this drop down list. I am going with all these defaults. Then click on next. 
keyboard model i am going with the default so click on next see here array disk or manual partitioning i am going with array disk so select it see this is the information okay so if you want to change the location see here we have these options i'm not going to change anything just i'm going with the defaults then click on next now we have to set up or create user so i'm giving username as after host name i'm giving garuda vm then provide the password for this user we can change this host name later also okay so click on next see this is the installation summary if you're okay with all the settings then click on install see this is just confirmation click on if you are okay with all the settings click on install now or if you want to modify you have to click on this back button i'm okay with the, these settings so click on install install now see installation has been started this may take time so i'm pausing this video and i will resume once installation completes and then it will ask us to reboot the system then we will log in and we will perform the post installation steps Select the checkbox that is restart now. Then go to here that is virtual box manager. We have to remove this ISO file which is mounted. So click on it. Then select the remove disk from virtual drive. Then select the force unmount. If you don't unmount this one, then installation will be started again. Okay. So we have to remove. Then we have to come to here and hit enter. If cursor is grayed out, you have to press right control from your keyboard. See if it takes time, then close this one, then select the power of this virtual power of the virtual machine, then start the manually by clicking on the start button. Now provide the password of the user that we have created. Hit enter. If you want to set up the assistant, click on OK. Now provide the password of the user. Hit enter. See now it is updating. Okay, now open another terminal by going to file, then new new terminal. See this is the information about the Garuda Linux that we have installed, and it is it is cinnamon control L. Now verify more slash etc os hyphen release. Hit enter. See here we have installed Garuda Linux. And its ID like ARC. If you want to verify IP of this machine, just give IP ADDR. Hit enter. Okay, see, this is the IP. Okay. See here. See, this updation is taking time. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Garuda Linux on VirtualBox. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.